Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Fossil Friday where we're doing about part 700 of my Megalitosaurus prep so it's not actually been quite that many but I will link them all down below if you want to watch it kind of start to finish hopefully which will hopefully be in a few more because I think we'll make a lot of progress on the centre today um, but I say this every time so I'm just going with it. Fossils take time and this one especially but happy Platinum Jubilee weekend. Um, I got back from Vienna last night so I've kind of had a relaxing start to the bank holiday weekend but I yeah I thought I had to film Fossil Friday because this to me is my day off stuff so I love doing this um, because I started a new job so yeah that's quite exciting so I met my colleagues um, the past few days which has been really really lovely so that's just a little update about me because I literally finished I submitted my final thesis draft two days ago or three days ago then my new job started and so I've just had no time to really think but uh, it's been exciting so lots of adventures on my part but I hope you're all doing well and um, yeah this is what we're working with today so I'm using a Dremel 290 engraver which again I'll link down below if you'd like to get one for yourself because I just find it's, it's very affordable and it's great to prep pretty much all fossils you find in England at least with so um, I really do recommend it and it's so affordable and um, you can get customized nibs for it that are really good on rocks so I recommend trying that out if the air tools are a little bit out of budget um, and then a little bit about safety as always wear a face mask some eye protection because you don't want rock going up your nose or in your eyes so um yeah that being said let's get to it
So it wasn't quite the perfect middle pop, but it definitely came out pretty nice, I'd say. So you can see the whirl kind of continues to about here, and then it does just kind of all blur into one. So I know with this species of ammonite, it's quite common for them not to have centers. Um, but I've got to say, this one's not too bad. So there is a little bit still here, but I have been trying to get rid of it, and I think it's just safer to leave it on at this point. Um, but this is the kind of finished product. So now I have to decide, do I give it a very small coat of Paraloid, where it pretty much won't give it any shine, it will just help kind of just preserve the surface, or maybe I'll leave it just as it is. But you can see it's battered and bruised, but it's one heck of a fossil. I mean, I am so chuffed with how that's turned out. So there you have it, the final prep version of this video. So now this series is going to go into the making of its stand and getting it pretty much 100% finished, but uh, that is pretty much all the prep I need to do into the center. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video and also the previous episodes. Um, thank you for coming along with me for one of my greatest and favorite prep, jo prep jobs I've ever done. This is my biggest and my favorite fossil I've ever found. So it's quite exciting to actually finish the prep on it. So now I just need to decide what the plan is for, you know, if I'm gonna paraloid it and then just finding space for it somewhere in my house. That's always good fun. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more and hopefully I'll see you next week.